Hi, in this video we're going to show you an easy way to copy and paste multiple items from your clipboard using uh, keyboard shortcuts rather than having to go back and recopy and repaste. So if you're uh, copying and pasting the same information over and over again, this comes in really handy. So I found this out uh, when I actually needed to use something like this. So let's say we have this information here, uh, financial institution, address, and phone number, and we need to put, you know, paste it in the same thing over and over again. Let's say we had to do this 50 times. Rather than going, you know, clicking here, going here, copying it, paste, then going back, copy, paste, we could actually uh, use this program called Ditto that'll let you set up shortcuts to do so. So if, I don't know if you know for sure this or not, but um, Windows has the clipboard history in it. So if you do Windows key V, you could see your clipboard history and you could actually pick things from there, but then you would still have to do Control V, Control, or Windows V, Windows V, Windows V a million times just to get to your sections here. So the way this program works, once you download and install it, it'll be running here. So just an FYI, the first time you install it, or actually first time you run it, um, Windows will think it's, you know, hey, do you want to trust this uh, app to run? You just have to click on more, I think, and then let it run. And I think they actually have a portable version too, so maybe you don't even have to install it if you want to try that out. So once you have it installed, you can open it up here just by clicking on it. It'll run down the system tray, and there's also an act option to have it start with Windows. So there's nothing on my clipboard now, but you'll see. So I'm going to copy this first one here. And if I go back to it, it's on there. Copy this one, and copy this one. And now you can see they're all on there, one, two, and three. So what you could do once you have it installed is open it, go to the three dots down here, go to options, go to keyboard shortcuts, and now we have the positions here. So position one, we could just on our keyboard press control one, let's say, you could do other keys if you want, control two, control three. And for however many you need. So we're doing it for three, so we're just gonna go to three up to 10 here. And the option is to send paste, and you could pick other options too, so we'll click OK. Okay, so now let's check our order here. So we want to do financial institution first because we're going to paste across this way. So we could just take this here, right click on it, clip order, move to top, and then address second, right click, clip order, move up. So now we have an order of financial institution, address, and phone number. So now all we need to do is use our shortcut keys. So control one. Control 2, Control 3, except I gotta click off of there, try that again, Control 3. And I could go back here to this blank one, Control 1, Control 2, Control 3. Just like that. So, a pretty simple way to just paste the same thing over and over again without having to go back and forth to your source, copy, paste, and so on. Uh, so this does other stuff too, but I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of the shortcut keys because that's what I like to use it for. Um, and so if you don't want any, one of them in the list, you could remove it. And one thing you're going to notice too, so let's say we uh, got some new text here. And once we copy this, now you notice that it's in our list at the top because it puts the newest first. So if you copy some more text and you wonder why your shortcut keys are messed up, then you'll know why. So then you could either you could right click and um, delete it or move it to the bottom, that type of thing. Just like that. And then if you need to edit something, let's say you messed this up, you could right click on it, properties. Let's say that was supposed to be a five. Now it's a five. And you could also right click on it, edit clip, and change it from here. So two ways to edit it. Edit it, say that's supposed to be a six. And you could save it. And you could add to it and so on. And now we have a six. All right, so I'll put a link to the description. I got this from GitHub. You could also get it from the uh, Microsoft Store. And then you could download it and try it out for yourself and have an easy way to uh, uh, copy and paste multiple items and documents and so on without having to go back to your source each time. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.